Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today we're going to be checking out how to get all of the Estus Shards in Dark Souls 3. Starting off with the High Wall of Lothric, make your way through until you reach the room where you get the Cell Key, and on an anvil you will find your first Estus Shard. To get the Estus Shard in the Firelink Shrine, you will first need to purchase the Tower Kree from the Hag Merchant that you have at the Shrine. Head outside and go up the tower until you reach a bridge that overlooks the entire shrine. Then you're going to want to drop down onto the roof of Firelink Shrine, follow around the rooftop until you find a window that allows you to go inside, and up on top of the rafters you will find a corpse with the Estus Shard on it. In the Undead Settlement, make your way through until you see a bunch of worshipping undead around a tree. Kill this big mob of creatures and by the tree will be your next Estus Shard. In the Road of Sacrifices, start from the Crucifixion Woods Bonfire. Head towards the ruins like I do and you will find two crucified undead. Once you kill them, keep heading back until you reach a corner with your Estus Shard lying in it. In Faron Keep, start at the Keep Ruins Bonfire. Head outside and turn left. Keep going forward until you see a bridge to your right and just to the left of the bridge will be the head of a statue fallen down with a slug next to it, and on the corpse you will find an Estus Shard. In the Cathedral of the Deep, you're going to want to start at the Cleansing Chapel Bonfire and head towards the graveyard. On your way, you will see some enemies praying by a gravestone, kill them, and take the Estus Shard right next to their bodies. In the Smoldering Lake, you're going to want to start from the bonfire and follow the path that I do. There will be many enemies in your way, so clear them out and head down this path until you reach a hallway with a hole in the ground. You're going to need to run across and leap to make it to the Estus Shard. Your jump will have to be very well timed, so if you mess it up a few times, don't feel bad. But once you finally make it across, pick up the Shard from the corpse. Once you've beaten the Dancer of the Boreal Valley and have the Dancer Bonfire unlocked, head up the ladder in the Wall of Lothric. Head left until you reach an elevator. Ride this elevator up and jump out about halfway up. Head outside, turn left, and your Estus Shard will be sitting there on the bridge. In the Irithyll Dungeon, you will eventually end up outside of the building on a bridge-like area. Continue down the bridge and through the next doorway and to your right will be a Mimic Chest. Kill that Mimic and pick up the Estus Shard off of its body. In An Orlando, near where you open up the front door of the castle after defeating that rat dog creature, Head back inside, and to your left there will be a chest containing an Estus Shard. In the Grand Archives, once you reach the long road leading up to the Twin Princess fight, turn around and head up the stairs that leads to the rooftop. Walk onto the other rooftop, and continue across all the way until you reach the back of this rooftop where you will find the Estus Shard sitting on a corpse. Anyways, that's how you get all of the Estus Shards in Dark Souls 3. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Guides for Us All for updates on videos and other strange posts. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.